Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Hi. Say hi. Watching the Steelers game. I mean, Mr. Burns, you're cute. You're cute. No, nobody. Nobody. You just like lunge at me. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> so it's Sunday night. I have been editing all day. I'm going to dinner tonight. We're going to dinner at my friend Kristen's house and we're gonna bring Bernie, but he is disgusting you guys he literally smells like pee because he keeps slipping and falling in his own pee and i did give him a bath like on thanksgiving so i feel like it's a little soon but no you can't have that but since he's a puppy you know it's that age where he just is so gross sometimes and you just smell like urine so i'm gonna give him a bath but i kind of just want to take him in the shower with me and i was asking on twitter if anyone else does this and a ton of you said yes so i'm like okay bernie's coming in the shower so I'm gonna shower first, and then I'm gonna hop out and grab him. Good boy, go putty on the bed. Who's a good boy? Yes, he is, he's so good. He's looking for a treat, no treat. But I'm gonna try out this new pet wash that I got. I'll leave the link in the description box. Here it is, this is the stuff that's really good, and it keeps them from getting those tear stains on their eyes. And one of you suggested putting cotton balls in his ears because we don't want him to get water in his ears, and so that's a great idea. I think I'm just going to push, when I take him in there, I'll just push the water thing against the wall so there's barely any water, and I'll just use it to rinse him. So smart, Mommy is! So that went really well, didn't it, buddy? He actually did way better with that than the bath. Dude, don't you need a towel? Oh no, they like to run it out and like kind of dry off. I'm going to blow dry you, dude. Doesn't like the drying part. You should turn it up to like a little warmer. So fluffy! <laughs> We're on our way to my friend Kristen's house. I think it's an apartment, actually, but I've never been there. It's She just moved in, so it'll be exciting. And Bernie's in the back. Doesn't really like the car very much. I'm hoping that if he's in his like crate no, thing that- we won't throw up again like you did last time. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. Well, you did pick him up and like make yeah. him look out the front of the. I know that was stupid. Light. I was like, look, Bernie. Yeah, that was really dumb. <laughs> but we have a question of the day that I Man. thought was really interesting, and I would love to get your perspective on it. Sarah Swiss, she says, "What are your thoughts on world peace? Do you think humans can live at peace at some point during their existence on Earth?" And do you think that at some point in history there they actually lived in peace? By peace I mean no war, no fear, no death, no hatred. Um, and then if you don't like that question, what's your favorite memory one that makes you smile? So we'll answer the first one because I'm very interested to see what Josh thinks. Oh, this went out of focus for a second. Do you think there can be world peace? Negative. No. I don't either. There won't ever be world peace because if you think about it, even from like a, you know, uh, animal perspective. Do animals ever have peace completely? No. No, they don't. There's always conflict and there's always, oh, that's smart. there's always like, I mean, that's what like evolution is and natural selection. I mean, there's always going to be conflict and humans are no different. So, I mean, I think as long as there's humans, there's going to be problems because we're different. Everybody can think for themselves and everybody has their own differences and, and, um, I don't think I don't think we'll ever see a world where everybody just gets along and you know there's no conflicts because because there will always be money base money is basically the source of all of our greed right but even if there was even if even if there wasn't money and everything was free we'd still like find stuff to fight over property yeah well it'd be trade well like I just mean like things things food and survival so there will always be I think there always I don't think there will ever be complete peace. I think we could be a lot more peaceful, though. I think that is possible. Wow. What a jerk. Josh put on his turn signal because he was going to go over, and someone literally sped up so that he couldn't do it. Yeah. People are such jerks. This is like our favorite Christmas song. Charlie Brown. No world peace, anyway. So sorry to put a dampen on your day, but... A dampen? <laughs> I think it's a da damper. Uh 
Oh, yeah, damp and damper. <laughs> I'll put a dampen on your day. <laughs> Such a good boy. He's so good. He just goes everywhere with us. He's like, just fine. Can you just stay in there? No? He's too social. I love this apartment. I want hardwood floors in our next place so bad. Babe, a place like this would be like perfect one day though. Because the floors. Yeah, no. I like this. I love the fireplace too. Super cute. Hi, dude. So this is. What is it? Cilantro, lime, yeah, that like chicken, pineapple salsa. No, it's good. It's supposed to be in the grill, actually. Well, dinner went really well, but Bernie peed on their floor twice. Where's the elevator? <laughs> I always get so confused in apartment buildings. So we're headed home. I'm going to stop, though, on my way and get a spray tan because I'm doing a haul tomorrow and my legs look really discolored right now because like half my spray tan's coming off. So, it's <laughs> like I definitely need to like get my shit together. I'm actually filming two hauls tomorrow. So, okay, so Josh kind of wants to make a YouTube channel possibly. We've been really talking about it or maybe a blog. Um, but he's, I think, needs some encouragement. So why don't you kind of tell them your idea for it? Like what you would do or like what you're interested in doing. Um, basically, as you guys know, I bought a drone with a high quality camera on it. What I like to do is make drone footage, uh, or drone videos, I guess. So go to like different places that I travel to and within Colorado and take cool, uh, drone footage of it and then basically like put it to music and make it a relaxing experience to like watch a drone fly around if I can. Yeah. And he also likes um, obviously traveling and food and I just yeah. kind of want him to start blogging like even that. maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Josh also really maybe. likes uh, inspirational videos and like motivational videos yeah, and he kind of like wants to make combination those. combination of those things maybe. So if you guys have any ideas or if you know what you'd like to see and if you would subscribe, let us know in the comments. Josh is definitely, he doesn't think anyone will want to watch it. Or that <laughs> anyone wants to watch him, but they do. That's good, that's encouraging. You just need to do it. I want Josh to embrace something a little more creative. So I think this would be a really yeah. cool creative yeah. outlet. And the, the drone stuff is pretty cool. So obviously we're going to Australia in uh, May. So he could take drone footage in Australia and like around Denver and a couple different mountain towns and it would just be a cool thing. If only we had it in Thailand, that's, I'm kicking myself for not getting like a good camera. Like, and I had a really shitty water camera in Thailand and oh, I have yeah, a GoPro now and I... Better footage. Yeah, we really should because that place was unreal. But we were just talking about it last night and we'll definitely go back one day. That place was amazing. I would recommend Thailand yeah. to anyone looking to travel and it's affordable than most, more affordable than most places. Say goodnight, Bernie. One day maybe you'll actually be able to jump out of your bed. Say goodnight. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Happy Vlogsember Day. Oh my gosh, four. See you guys next time.